Good evening, everyone. Tonight we have a box of 1992 Upper Deck Low Series. Searching for Ted Williams autograph. Yeah, who are we kidding? We ain't finding one. But, you know, maybe we'll find a Manny Ramirez rookie card or one of the short prints, Deion Sanders, Frank Thomas, etc. You know, that's pretty much it. It's Manny Ramirez or Ted Williams autograph. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the Beckett. All right, tonight we have the April of 92 edition with Frank Thomas on the cover. And we'll see the set's booking in at $36. And you can see the, the set there, Ted Williams was hot because, I mean, it was new back then. You know, Ted Williams, ooh, ah, you know. So, but you can see pretty much none of the cards were worth anything back in the day. You got... David McCarty rookie card. Hot adult. Who the hell is David McCarty? I don't know. You got Jeremy Burnett, Manny Ramirez there, hot at a buck. Eh, who else we got? We got Ryan Klesko there, dollar seventy-five. Yvonne Rodriguez, a dollar. And then over here we have pretty much nothing at all. Except there you got the Deion Sanders. Is a triple exposure football slash baseball card short print 10 bucks and that's pretty much it so even back in the day it was you know mania or bust now if we go to today's beckett we'll see that not a whole lot changed really i mean it's set looking in there the full set of 800 and 25 bucks low series only 20 dollars you got Manny ramirez there four bucks sean green rookie cards a dollar and that's pretty much it. And then you got the Deion Sanders, only a dollar now. And then the Frank Thomas, Tom Selleck card, a buck as well. So, you know, unless you get one of the, you know, the Ted Williams cards, then pretty much that is it. It's Ted Williams or bust. And then if, we luck, if we're lucky, maybe we get a Manny. So, uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and we'll get this opened up here off camera. and be back here in a second and get to ripping. All right, we're back here. Go ahead and get started on these glorious junk wax packs. All right, we got Lewis Mercedes. Oh, this is what I love about Upper Deck. Back and forth, every which way. Six hour break. Robin Yelp. Let's see there, we got Joey Cora, ooh. Trash can banging Joey Cora. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that was Alex Cora. Forgive me. Forgive me, Joey Cora. All right, Kirk Gibson, can rot in hell for beating the A's. Eric Davis, pretty cool action shot there. Jim Tomey, not bad, it's a pretty cool card of Jim Tomey. And then we got Derek Bell and Gene Larkin. Appreciate you guys joining us tonight. Make sure you click that subscribe button, hit the like button, you know, notifications, all that good stuff. So we got a Ted Williams card in the back. Maybe it's an auto. Maybe not, but maybe. I mean, they should give me an auto for having to sit there and deal with this crap back and forth, upside down, backwards, forwards. I apologize in advance to try and speed this up the best we can while still showing the cards. I know not everyone's here for the hits. Some of you guys like seeing the actual cards too, like myself. And it is not an autograph, but you know, it's still one of the Williams cards, so we'll just leave him in the back for now. got something going on back here. Ooh. Did I miss these? I don't remember seeing them in the other packs, but Cecil Fielder, Bill Wegman, Oil Can Boyd. Man, these back and forth really annoy. 
We got a Twins hologram sticker. Well, it's better than the half size ones because those are annoying. I really can't stand those. I don't know about you guys. Nice Greenwell shot there. Leo Franco. Nice Cal Ripken. Jeremy Burnett, hot card back then. Not worth crap now. All right, let's try to move this along. Let's try not to make this a six hour break, like I said. But you can blame Upper Deck if it is because these cars just go every which way. I know some will just skip through, but like I said, I like to actually look at the cards too. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that, but I mean, really, if you're just searching for hits, you're ripping the wrong box because there's not crap in this thing. So you might as well enjoy the cards because you're not doing this for the value. Andre Dawson, Kenny Lofton there as an Astro, Lance Johnson. You know, I mean, what's the point of ripping this? if you're not going to show the cards because we all know i mean we could go through this in three seconds if you're looking for quote hits but there's really no hits in this thing so i mean honestly it's manny ramirez which is you know not even i mean beckett books it at four bucks but you know it's probably a dime a dozen if you really wanted it but you know these cards are pretty cool though a lot of action shots a lot of clear images Definitely high quality, you know, fun rip back in the day. You know, Upper Deck had to up their game a little bit with Stadium Club and the other cards coming out, Leaf, etc. Uh, there's the Dion short print, the football and baseball one. That's definitely a cool card. Prime times two. Always was a fan of Dion, so. We'll leave him over there. And according to Beckett, that's a whole dollar now. So, I mean, I've recouped nothing. So. All right, Joe Slusarski. I spoke too soon. You know, this is still, I think, a pretty nice set, though. Always like this set. Home Run Hero subset, which is only in the, the Jumbo packs, though. Definitely pretty cool cards back in the day. You know, loads better than Tops, you know, Fleer, etc. I mean, Don, Don Rush changed their, their set design really in 2000. I mean, sorry, 92 made it a little bit better. But still, though, Upper Deck had set the bar pretty high after 89. And really, Stadium Club... You know, other than 90 Leaf, too, was, was a pretty good one. I mean, as far as giving Upper Deck a run for their money. Oh, wow, another hologram sticker. Good stuff. I mean, they can keep the sticker if they just put the cards the right way each time. Oh, we got a nice Boston Red Sox holographic sticker. I mean, these are pretty nice, though, as far as... I said, much better to have the full-size one than those half-size ones. Those things are annoying. Almost as bad as the score trivia little cards that came in the 88, 89 score, etc. There's Ryan Klesko. Would have been a hot one back in the day. Sabo rocking the goggles. You know, definitely a very, like I said, very cool set. You know, you're not watching this video unless you actually like the set. And you know, Tim Raines, what, he's not Rock Raines now? That's Parrish, is about 90 in this pick. You got Ken Griffey Sr., about 92. Dante Bichette. You got Bonilla again, who signed the greatest contract in the history of baseball. We got the Al Osuna working the camera. Luis Soho. And we got here, we got Roberto and Sandy Jr., the Alomar brothers. And we got 
said Landrum, and then another Ted Williams. Oh, man, it's not autographed. I'm getting screwed. Never make my money back. We got Wade Boggs, Diamond Skills, Subset, Chris James, Joe Klink. Lloyd Mosby. Tony Gwynn. That's a nice one. Rest in peace, Tony Gwynn. We got Randy Johnson. Pretty good shot, action shot there. Jeremy Burnett's again. And nice Craig Biggio. Hope everyone is doing well out there. Staying safe. Avoiding the snow, etc., etc. Or if you like the snow, enjoying the snow. Steve Howe and Bobby Witt. John Franco. Laughing it up. Greg Swindell. We got Pagnazzi. Joe Carter. Riho, Harold Baines, who shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame because he sucked. Okay, well, he didn't suck, but he sucked compared to some of the Hall of Famers, so we'll go with that. Steve Decker and Francisco Oliveras. Yeah, when you look at some of the players that aren't in the Hall of Fame and compare them, yeah, Harold Baines sucks. Dale Murphy should be in over him. McGriff should be in over him. Canseco should be in over him. Another Diamond Skills best defensive player, Cal Ripken. Rick Sutcliffe. Oh, good. And Neil Heaton. John Smiley. Gaetti. David Cohn. Alan Trammell. Doug Desenzo. We got Rob Dibble. Ben McDonald would have been a hot one then to pull. Oh, look at that. We got two in the same pack. Look at us go. If I was a kid and you got two Ben McDonalds, even though, I mean, was it 90 was his rookie? I mean, if he turned out to be as great as everyone thought he was, you'd have been happy with that pack. But as we all know, he didn't necessarily pan out the way they thought. Trying to move this along. Raphael Palmero. How those roids doing for you? Louis Polonia. What do we got? Chris and Tony Gwynn. Daryl Strawberry is a Dodger. It just doesn't look right. And Steve Farr. There's a nice card to get on top there, Nolan Ryan. Definitely worse cards to get than that. Sean Abner. Speaking of worse cards to get to Nolan Ryan. Mark Gubiza. Mark Langston. Definitely a hot top pitcher from back in the late 80s, early 90s. Greg Vaughn. Sean Dunstan had a cannon for an arm. Great shortstop. Mediocre hitter, but, you know, good shortstop. Yeah, Chris Bazio. All right, what do we got here? We got another Diamond Skills best outfield arm, Jesse Barfield. Yeah, he did. He had a cannon. We'll give him that. Remember from the days growing up watching him as a Yankee. Definitely had a gun. Travis Fryman. We got Andy Bennis. Another hot one from back then. Dennis Martinez. El Presidente. Tony Fernandez. Rest in peace. We got Willie Wilson as an A. That's very odd. Mark Grace. 
Definitely like the design of these. The logos, they jazz them up a little bit. Another prospect, Tyler Green. The Manny Ramirez rookie. Here we go. That is the man we're looking for. Yes! 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 And then a nice Randy Johnson there behind him. All right, so we got our Manny Ramirez rookie card. Now all we need is our Ted Williams autograph, and I'll be happy. So I fully expect to have that here shortly. And I will not accept anything less. Travis Fryman. What do we got here? Brian Harper again. Jack Howell. Dean Palmer. John Smoltz. Hitting. Brian Hunter. Pete Incavilia. Tartable. Barry Larkin. We got Leo Gomez, John Farrell, another Cal Ripken, Steve Hosey, Prospect. And Jeff Russell. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Stottlemyre, Harold Reynolds, Palmero, we got LaValier, Arthur Rhodes, star rookie, and we got Willie Banks, and we got another Ted Williams baseball heroes. Jose De Jesus, Ken Hill, Kevin Brown, you got Bob Tewksbury, Pat Kelly, hot rookie back there in the early 90s. Got his, sent away some cards in the mail back then, got them signed. Man, got one of his Leaf rookies signed. Dave Winfield there. Howard Johnson, hopefully that's his kid, otherwise it's creepy. We got Scott Erickson, another hot rookie from back in the day. Gary and Dwight. Gary Sheffield, Dwight Gooden. Here we got Mark Lemke and then Will Clark. Having someone put eye black on for him because he's a bitch. So. we can keep this moving speed this up maybe a little bit Cecil Fielder pretty cool card there with the chicken you got Ryan Sandberg nice action shot you got Ken Sr. Craig and Ken Jr. Ruben Sierra and Scott Kamenicki. All right, no Ted Williams autograph yet, but we're going to keep going. Because I'm going to find one in this box. Phil Plantier, Kevin McReynolds, Greg Harris. Carlos Baerga, Brady Anderson there. We got Hal Morris. Todd Van Poppel. Ooh, ah, Todd Van Poppel. Hope you guys didn't go out and buy a lot of those Van Poppels when you're younger. Barry, another Kevin Brown, a 
Thomas Howard, Rick Wilkins, okay, Jack Morris, Dave Winfield, you got Dave Magadan, you got Pedro Martinez, star rookie, we'll just put him in the back, you got Juan Samuel, and then Patrick Lennon, star rookie, ooh, Patrick Lennon, Uh, Javier Ortiz, Adam Peterson, Corey Snyder, Tom Browning, is that Green Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. The triple exposure, pretty cool. David Cohn, Brett Butler, Jack Armstrong. Scott Fletcher, DJ Serhoff, Braulio Castillo, okay. I wonder if he was in the majors for a hot minute. You know, if I don't get a major of mirrors, I'm calling up Upper Deck and I'm complaining because that'll be a load of crap. I'm going to start a petition or something on like change.org. They need to issue a refund. Drabeck, what do we got here? Mark Icorn. Ron Robinson. Jeff King. Andy Ashby. Another Ted Williams there. And Ted Wood. Not the autograph, though. Another load of crap. Definitely going to file a complaint. I'm going to complain to the union. That's what I'm going to do, because it's not fair. Jim Abbott. There we go. Andy Moda. Frank Castillo. Ooh. Greg Hibbard, Paul O'Neill, Kelly Gruber, Edgar Martinez. George Bell. Nice Ryan Sandberg. And we got Felix Fermin, Kurt Miller. We got Rondell White. We got Frank Thomas. Pretty cool Frank Thomas. You guys all know what that, that spot is left there for. We're leaving that spot for the greatest of all time. Jamie Navarro. Probably spent a lot of time sleeping on the bench. Oh, and I'm flipping him the wrong way here. Apparently got my head up by you know what. Just trying to get him situated. Jerry Brown, Keith Miller, Kirby Puckett, a nice Kirby Puckett. Leo Gomez again. We got Barry Larkin. Is this the collector's choice in Iowa Stadium? Is that Mark Jim Abbott? Oh, the Angels checklist. Another Ted Williams. It's not signed. It's a load of crap. I should have a whole bunch of signed ones by now. Well, we got Brian Hickerson, though. Bob Melvin. John Franco again, lapping it up. Wally Whitehurst. Daryl Kyle. Robbie Thompson. And nobody. Okay, 
Daryl Morton, Paul Molitor, Terry Pendleton, Lenny Harris. Oh, we got another Ted Williams. Tom Goodwin. And another Ted Williams baseball hero. Not signed, though. We got Russ Swan. We got Roger Clemens, Diamond Skills. Darren Lewis. Ellis Burks. Another Jerome Walton. Jim Abbott. Steve Finley. Scott Erickson. Kevin Apier. Jeff Plimpton, top prospect. You got Raul Mondesi, rookie. And Ted Williams, uh, the short print, the header, looks like. Yep, baseball Heroes. The no numbered short print header. Got here is that the Canseco Ricky Henderson one? Pretty nice. Mark Witten, John Crook, Greg Briley, Gary Sheffield, Louis Polonia. Is he pitching? Uh, warming up in the outfield. Another Harold Baines, the worst Hall of Famer in there. Dan Wilson, Prospect. Another Ted Williams, not signed, of course. And then we got, who do we got here? Ryan Hoblitzel. Really? Lee Stevens. Juan Guzman Brantley. Aglia Rulo, Sammy Sosa, back when he was black, Tom Candiotti, Glenn Braggs, Benito Santiago, Craig Biggio, we got another Mark Grace, then we got with a Frank Thomas checklist, Collector's Choice team checklist there, another Ted Williams, of course, it's not signed. Mariano Duncan, pretty cool action shot there. A regular checklist. Brian Hunter. Rob Deere, Tim Wallach, perennial all-star back in the 80s. Ted Wood, Mike Gallego, and Andy Ashby. All right, we're getting towards the bottom of the box, thank God. No Ted Williams autograph yet, but we still got time. Chuck Noblock. Nice Tom Glavin. Elster. Tony Pena. Ben McDonald again. Rob Dibble. We got what? Danny Tartable checklist. Royals checklist. We got the baseball heroes. Tim Belcher. Ooh. Tim Raines.
John Oliver there. Stick Pen, Lance Johnson. Junior Ortiz, another Braulio Castillo. Another Ted Williams one there. Rob Maurer. Ron Darling, Lou Whitaker, Real Cormier, Steinbach, Greg Catteray, Lee Smith, Mark Leiter, Cal Daniels, another Mike Harkey, never get enough Mike Harkeys, Darren Fletcher, another Van Poppel. Chris George and Alex Cole. All right, we got nobody, nobody, nobody. Kelly Downs, Paul O'Neill. Then we got Edgar Martinez. Jim Leritz. Uh -huh. Another Pedro Martinez. And Willie McGee. And that's the only bad thing about the upper deck is that they go every which way, so it makes for a longer break. I know when I'm doing upper deck, I'm going to be in it for a while, so... Like I said, because I actually like to look through the cards. Alvin Davis. What do we got here? Ooh, the Cleveland Indians logo. Oh, wait. Can we say Indians still? Because they're going to change the name. Because they're now so woke. The woke Cleveland team. Randy Johnson. Pip Roberts. And we got a Scott Erickson team checklist. Jeremy Hernandez and Ozzy Smith. I swear, Ozzy Smith. It's like every card Ozzy is he's either doing a backflip, he's in the air, something like that. Either that, or he's got a big grin on his face. One or the other. Bill Swift. Another Paul Molitor. Kevin Seitzer, Brett Saberhagen, Gary Carter, looking very odd in that Dodgers uniform, Joe Vitello, and we got Dimitri Young and Delino DeShields as the last one. All right, so no Ted Williams autograph. I feel cheated. We did get one Manny Ramirez. I got no Conseco, so I guess I can put the Henderson and Ricky Conseco card over here. The Henderson, excuse me, the Henderson and Conseco card. Henderson and Ricky sound pretty dumb, but you know, still fun to go through them. I love these cards. You know, the action shots are pretty cool. You know, the triple exposure, the Dion one, the combo of football, baseball. Trying to copy, you know, the excitement from that Bo football baseball one back, and I think it was 90 score. So definitely a cool shot of Dion, though. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me while we rip through another box of good old hot garbage from the early 90s. And I will see you in the next video.